Hey Brad, these airports, no removal equipment. It won't be sitting inside that warehouse much longer as winter weather, as Brad mentioned, heads our way along with thousands of airport travelers. Yeah, the director of Austin Straubel International Airport expecting to see at least 5,000 travelers pass through the terminals this week. In continuing coverage, Brittany Schmidt tells us how airport crews are preparing for all scenarios this week. It's nice and sunny at Green Bay's Austin Straubel International Airport Monday, but Airport Director Marty Piet knows to keep his eye on the weather. Hourly? Uh, often, uh, because the weather changes all the time. With winter weather on the way and thousands of holiday flyers, Piet says his crews are on standby. We only have seven people to do all the work, uh, so everybody's on deck. So, too, is the snow removal equipment, starting with the combo. Plows in the front, that plows off the real heavy snow, and then once the the plow goes over, then there's always that little bit that's left on the pavement, and that's what the broom will do. Then at the end, this any leftover snow is blown away. So anything that the plow or the broom left behind, that broom will shoot air out at a high velocity and blow off any of the residual snow and ice. And I want to draw your attention to the size of these snow plows here. These are not your average snow plows that you're going to see out on the road when you're in your vehicle. These are 20 feet wide and at least six feet tall. And then if you can imagine on the runway, our runways are 150 feet wide. So this is just one truck. We have the second truck that will run next to it. Uh, so it's kind of like a Congo line going down the runway. The whole intention is to move everything to the edge of the runway. Once everything's on the edge of the runway, we'll bring a big snowblower through and throw all that snow into the field. And you guessed it, the snowblower is just as big. This thing will shoot about 5,000 tons of snow per hour. Clearing 8 million square feet of pavement can be tricky, especially because they can't use salt. Because it is corrosive to aircraft engine parts. But they do have other options, like a special anti-icer and FAA-approved sand. It just crumbles apart. To help with traction. Some are over 100 miles an hour when they're landing, so we have to make sure that we're getting the pavement as bare and dry as we possibly can and keep as little residue on it as possible. But they usually rely on these two workhorses to get the job done. Just know that the airports are out there doing any anything and everything that they can behind the scenes to make sure that the runways and taxiways are open and safe as possible. In Ashwaubenon, Brittany Schmidt, Action 2 News. If you are interested in hearing more from the Austin Straubel Airport Director, check out my interview with Marty Piet on our Get to the Point podcast from earlier this fall. It's available through Apple and Google Play. You can find all the podcast episodes, wbay.com slash podcasts.